I'm Jeff Allen of Super Beach America. I'm the product development manager for the company. And this morning I'd like to demonstrate for you a Compact Plus spray machine. It's a fully functional PLC controlled machine that has all the features of much more expensive equipment. We'll start with the heart of the machine, the control panel. This is where the operator is going to carry out all the functions to run the machine day by day. I'd like to show you how easy and intuitive the machine is and how simply we can change from stain to top coat, backwards and forwards as our production day goes on. We'll start by spraying a door. First we select a recipe. We're going to spray colour one. We load the colour. The machine is ready to run. Okay, so now we have the stain coat, we now take this to dry and we can seal and top coat. Okay, so now we've stained the panel, we've waited five minutes for it to dry, now we're going to reprogram the machine and set it to clear coat. We simply change to the recipe for the clear coat, load it, and we're ready to go. Although being simple to work with, it's also extremely powerful. We're able to make fully customizable programs from the interface on the machine. When considering the benefits of a flatbed spray machine, one of the key features to look at and pay attention to is the airflow inside the machine. Airflow must be controlled and balanced in such a way that it maximizes the overspray recovery and it also ensures a safe working environment for the people who are operating the machine and around it. If we push the overspray down on the belt, we're able to ensure that we get the best possible finish from the spray gun. We're also able to get the best possible yield from the material. Our competitors offer a machine that has a pitched interior roof to the spray area. We don't believe this is the correct solution because this will cause, with forced air, this will cause turbulence exactly in the area where the spray guns are applying paint to the workpiece. This is the area where you need the machine to have the most controlled airflow at any stage in the process. We want the overspray on the belt, not on the side filters. When it goes to the side filters, it costs more money. The Super Peachy range of machines all use a flat interior roof to the machine. The reason for this is that we can ensure that we have a balanced and even airflow to the whole zone of the spraying area. There will be no difference in spraying the workpiece at the entry as it will to the exit. The whole machine is completely balanced. When it goes on top of the belt, we're able to either have more on the workpiece or we're able to recapture it through our recovery system. Another key feature of an automatic spray machine is to consider how the fluid is delivered to the spray guns. It's very important that you get as even pressure and as controlled flow rate as possible through the spray gun to enable each gun to give the same amount of fluid onto the workpiece. Many of our competitors' machines do not operate a full closed ring system. This can lead to great inaccuracies in the amount of film applied gun by gun. We avoid that by having a closed ring system. By closed ring, I mean that we actually have a daisy chain circuit and we put fluid to both sides of the ring so that we're able to give equal pressure to the left and to the right reciprocator. We do that by having material coming in, coming down, through to the spray gun, from one gun to the next gun, from that gun back up across the bridge, down to the other side of the machine across this gun to the back gun and from the back gun back across the bridge and down through the energy chain back to the exit of the machine. Another unique feature of the Super Peachy range of spray machines 
is that we do not use a standard extruded aluminum reciprocator mechanism, which is typically bought from third party vendors. Within our group, we have manufacturers of CNC routers. They have designed for us a linear bearing system uh, mounted on the beam, the same as a CNC router. So this mechanism is extremely rugged, it is designed to take far heavier loads than ever can be put on a spray machine. This is a very reliable feature of the machine. It's also an item that gives very good precision when spraying. The Compact Plus spray machine is a material recovery machine. It's really important to have the material back in good usable condition. With our patented wet system, we really do have the best system available to give you the material back with the least stress on the material, the least use of solvent, and the best rate of recovery. What do we mean by a wet system? If you imagine the workpiece has been sprayed, there is overspray around the perimeter where the workpiece is now left. With our wet system, we do not remove any material with the roller. To the contrary, we apply paint on the belt. The recovery roller is running in a trough of whatever you're spraying, water-based UV, paint, whatever. As the roller rotates against the direction of the belt, it's in contact with the belt, but it is not pushed hard into the belt. The surface of the roller has very, very fine texturing. Not enough to damage the face of the belt, but enough just so that when we bring the wet material up, we make it mingle with the overspray. So now the belt is covered in a homogeneous mass of coating. That allows us then to use just the one scraper blade to remove all of the coating and put it back to the trough. These are two completely independent units. This one is for, for paint recovery. This one is for final clean of the belt. Again, it's working on the same principle. The solvent through the trough, the roller rotating, lifting it onto the belt, the scraper scraping it dry. As soon as the belt has passed the scraper, the belt is dry, ready to receive the next workpiece. There is no carryover of solvent beyond this scraper. So we're able to use very, very slow solvent. This means that typically with our, cut, with our competitors' machines, they would be using between 20 and 40 gallons of solvent in a shift. We will use between three and five gallons, no more. The wet system for material recovery has proven to be one of the most profitable and significant gains to any of our customers when they have a Super Vici spray machine. When customers look at this system, the first question they ask is, how difficult is it to clean and how long is it going to take me? When we designed this system, we designed it for ease of cleaning. Uh, everything is removable. The, the trays can be removed, the scraper can be removed. To remove the trays, you simply have to drop the tray, undo this one fluid connection, and the tray can come out. To clean the scraper blade, it simply lifts out. You lift the scraper blade out, take the scraper off to a remote place, give it a clean. If time is really important, then it's, po it's possible to buy spare scraper blades, spare trays, and you can have one set cleaned while one set's running. Typically, the time to clean this unit would take between 15 and 20 minutes at the end of the shift. If you'd like more information about this machine, please call us 704 875 8751 or alternatively send us an email at info at Thank you and thanks for watching this video.